To better understand the Cusis system, let's start by diagramming a basic signal path. The brains of the Cusis system is the Cusis core, a powerful 64-bit centralized processor that will handle all the signal processing, routing, and control. The way this processing and routing is managed is called the design, which is the software file that you architect using the Cusis Designer software and then save to a core. Learning how to use the many tools in Cusis Designer is the main purpose of this course, but there will also be plenty of information on hardware devices as well. The Cusis core comes in several models depending on the system size and needs. Smaller systems might use a unified Cusis core which has built-in analog connections on the rear panels to bring in the audio sources and send to amplifiers and loudspeakers. Medium-sized systems might use the QSIS integrated core, which has eight card slots, which allow for customized I.O. solutions. There are many different kinds of I.O. cards, which can send and receive different types of audio or interface with various other types of audio networks. Very large systems might use our enterprise QSIS cores. These cores have tremendous processing capabilities, but only one I.O. card slot, as the majority of the inputs and output connections will enter the network via an I.O. frame. QSIS I.O. frames allow for remote input and output connections to QSIS, which can be used on any size system. The I.O. frame can be positioned in a relatively close proximity to the physical audio source or destination. There are a few different types of I.O. devices. In this example, I.O. frames convert audio input and third-party control inputs into network packets and then send them over a standard Layer 3 gigabit Ethernet infrastructure called QLAN. QLAN is made up of a collection of standard IT protocols which allow for native network connections and built-in compatibility with IT systems like LDAP, SNMP, and SIP soft phones without cumbersome workarounds. The core receives all the audio from its inputs, the network inputs, and other sources such as its own audio player or external streaming sources on the network and then processes these channels according to your design. After it's done, it routes the output signals to the appropriate destinations. This may be an output on the core itself or it may send it back out over the network to another I.O. card on an I.O. frame. In either case, the audio then leaves the QSIS network to be delivered to an amplifier, which is connected to a loudspeaker. Certain QSE amplifiers use a connection called the data port, which allow the core to monitor the health of the amplifier and the loudspeaker, as well as the audio signal status. Some QSE amplifiers, like the CXDQ, are networked directly to QLAN and also serve as an on-ramp for additional audio channels. The end user is provided control of the system via a user control interface, which is also designed in the designer software. A UCI can be displayed on a network QSE touchscreen, an iPad or iPhone, or a PC connected to the QSIS network. Or if you prefer, the system can also be controlled by third-party interface devices using custom scripting. And that's an overview of how a basic QSIS system works. Thanks for watching.